Mm -hmm. uh, so far. You said this is the shop here. Ah. Like, here's where the tracks came in. Yeah, actually the shop is back here, but the drill shop is over here, and this is the compressor room right here. And that's the original compressor right there. Oh, wow. This is where the miners would come in and change their clothes and take showers. And we go out the other side. Some of the offices. Of security. Well, you couldn't bring out sacks in your pockets. Yeah. However much you can stick under your balls. <laughs> yeah. Try to stop migrating. No, you can never be stopped. They don't want anybody who had access to the giant bowl and says they can take a piece of the fucking wire. Oh, there's little pictures here. Of dangers and oh wow, the fatal gram. Uh, fatal gram, I like that. <laughs> Death toll. <laughs> Twenty one. <laughs> wow, that's cool. And I got it because I have sweet steel. Uh -huh. I mean, I, I'm borrowing it. Made it forever. That's an old generator. Uh, that's an old electric bar. That's a forge. And that was a battery at one time. I guess. Eh, what the fuck that is? Switch. That's some kind of uh, electrical resistor or something. Maybe. I don't really know what that is. That's a big. That's a switch from a, like a trammer. A big trammer. And all kinds of stuff right here. Pump. Made by the compressor. Mm -hmm. And it in it was, oh, a, I saw it too. was a rust. I left it there. Well, I had, the, had, the, had a rusty yeah. crescent wrench, a rusty file, an empty box of detonators. I'd like to make tweakers. They picked tweakers. Yeah, that's a tweak Yeah, there were telephones here. Really old wooden ones with the wooden crank thing. There's a sprocket there. What is that? That's a replacement sprocket for something, huh? Oh uh, yeah, probably. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, a cog. Yeah, that's a cog. It's the truck and drill shop in here. Oh, wow. yeah, that's from the garden of Denver. It's the one. It's the it's hammer. It's the real deal. It's the hammer. I have a Toyo, and it's almost as good and 25 pounds lighter. Wow. Yeah, no, the 83 weighs, with hoses and shit, it's like 120 pounds. Mm. It, you know, At the end of the day, you know you're a man when you're on that way. See this right here, this big hole? This uh, is kind of a funny story. There was a guy out here, and he had some weird name, but we called him the Lone Miner. And he just thought he knew everything. And <laughs> He set a box of caps up there, and then was grinding something here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can blew that off, blew the hole in the next wall, peppered him all up and down. He had little tiny holes all over him, and it was fucking. He didn't get hurt, so that was funny. But that's why you don't leave your detonators in your shop. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's why those rules with the ATF really are okay to follow. Because <laughs> we, we're all we're all licensed and sn up to snuff. We have explosives. Mm -hmm. We're all certified, and you have to be. And there's reasons why, of course. Anyway, so this is boarding this going. Yeah, I'm so much there's yeah. Oh yeah, the, yeah, you gotta see if it's a dilapidated living area. Oh, it's a great living area. It could it's just really run down, that's all. It isn't run down, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh wow. TV, but... Romantic or haunted. Oh I love that old TV. That's great. Oh there you go. Your honeymoon cabin. <laughs> Got central heat. Yeah, <laughs> got a good working desk. You put a laptop right on there, no yeah. problem. What more could you ask for, huh? Yeah. It's got a bulletin board, TV. Yeah. They were still using this up until the late 60s. I heard that, but they were still using this up until the late 60s. Living here. That's down where we just were. Hot water tank. Sink. This is the living room. 
Looking out the front. Oh, I know. That's where we were looking around earlier. Oh, just in here and checking out the compressor. Yeah, the of tweakers. Course. Of course, that's what the tweakers always come after. Is the copper wire. Am I bothering you within my lights? No, not at all. No, I'm used to shooting in very adverse conditions, often while being shot at. So, a little light is not an issue at all. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You when you're overseas. Yeah. yeah. Mortars, incoming yeah. artillery. Lights. Did you say you actually got hit in the vest ones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've had several uh, come real close. This was the old portal right here. Ah. And the cable. They didn't really bad. So bad that they went to the other portal on the middle vein and then cross cut about 60 feet and hit the puddle. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Still open? Good. Yeah. Barely. <laughs> nah, I cleaned. I came out here and cleaned all up for the TV people. So what's uh what's off in that direction? The mill. We hit that on the way back. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, this is the whole deal. Tracks come out of there. Take it to the, the take mill. your order to the mill. And also, the waste pile is out that way too. Yeah, well, and then they got the switch there, so you go to the shop. Got it. And you know what I think oh, is... one of the side ones, so that's good. One of the one things that... Yeah. I'm not going to drive, that, drive it myself, but I can ramrod the job. This is no camping area, by the way. Yeah. 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 Respect to yeah. Don't touch anything like oh, I just yeah. did. <laughs> You'll see the... Uh, the that's the main thing you get the look at. They always cross cut from the voice room. Right, it's always in the middle of the main. And you get across the middle thing, which also can be good. Well tempered. Where is that at? The main is. Lagging. This is center of the back wall. Oh, they, they are. But talking about being in the heart of the district. Well, here it is, it's a little thick. Yep, still just petering along. It's, of course. it's pinched off almost completely. Yeah, right we here. can see yeah, it's pinched now. Yeah. It's probably going to show itself back off. Oh, it does this year. Yeah, for the answer. This is where they went with this tunnel that we just came in on. And it goes back there, um, I'm in the back a couple hundred feet, and it pinches off into nothing, and they decide not to look at it anymore. It's just dead. Then they came in here, and you see those drill holes there? Yeah. They got carried away at first, and they just didn't load those, but they made this tunnel right here, which right where my light is shining, that's where it connects to the other main. This is this is a little cross cut. They put this in just to get over there. And they were kind of rookies. Nice course. This is where I bring people that want crystals. There's bugs all over this. Oh, wow. I can see crystals right here. There's a crystal right there. There's a crystal bug right there. There's a crystal right there. Crystal bug there. This has been, see all this muck down here? This is from. Most, mostly, on it. mostly my friends. Yeah, on it. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't get them past this spot. <laughs> this one woman, my best friend Sean and Quinn. Those are muffins, right? Yep, that's yeah. for B. They would probably run. This needs hoses. Yeah. They'd probably run. There's really not much to them. Right, like this dust and another one of his mines is solid walls of quartz. It's like yeah. 16, yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. Everybody loves quartz, right? Yeah. Quartz. This is 
So is this like the 16 2 where there's like a serpent? Some uh, uh, loaded ore carts back there. Oh, yeah, there's a huge dike. Okay, there's a huge dike in there. Yeah. So you can just make a post site here and there. I didn't see you right off the bat, but. So this is the other mine in there? Uh, this is the other. Uh, the other entry. Oh, the other yeah, the, the, the one that came. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the one that came. They were they just followed the vein in here, and like I said, they just did a cross cut here because that was caved in so massively. Two. Three, four, four levels above us. This is an exploratory sheet. I don't think I'm finding anything in there. You should do it. That's where the race goes up right there. Yeah. Maybe uh, my, uh, my lions came in and checked it out too. This is old type of stuff there. Oh, wow. The rungs are broken on the ladder. Yeah, this is one that I never went up. You can climb it, but... Oh, it's a long way. Look at oh, that. it gets really steep up there. Yeah. That'd be cool to go up there with all the rungs and moving up yeah. there. The yeah. That goes up it, there too. Except you want to know something? It's real steep. Yeah. It goes almost vertical. Where I was working, it's like 75 degrees. There's one in the ruby like this, too. There's a raise like this. It's, it's like straight vertical. Back there, we got stops right there. Continues on this way. Oh yeah. Looks like there used to be an orange suit here. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, there used to be one here, but bottom collapsed. Oh, you can actually look up. That's cool. Looks like it levels off up there. Yeah. Sure, is the manway still there on the left? Yeah, ladder probably went yeah. up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how it all is. Levels off up there. Yeah, right here. This right here. That's a good range. Oh, wow. And then right in here, they took 5,000 ounces out right here. Yeah, that's the 5,000 ounces they took out right here. Just in this one section? Yeah. Wow. They went underneath it, because that's what you do. You keep following. You got to go underneath every time. Yeah. That's why there's so many levels. They so they would have been working, up there. standing on those okay, boards, working down, up here. Under. They drop down, they go and under it. And then they went, fuck this, let's go all the way to the creek. Okay. And the original portal, was over by the and then shop. Uh, obviously they chased it down here as well. Oh, that creek level, okay. which was really stupid. Yeah, water, right? Yeah, I flooded every fucking year. Uh, and then they drove the other one above it at the shop level. Yeah, that's a big stove here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, they, they stoked completely underneath this. So how... Oh, they go down too. Look, they got the water they from the water, water, or did it dry? No. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, it's still the water. Originally, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Uh, Some is okay. so clear it's that you, it's hard to even tell in the video that there's water right. there. Yeah. People ask me, like, well, why didn't you go down that, that hole? I'm like, well, actually, there's fourth water. Yeah, fourth water. Yeah, the yeah, well, he'll jump a rock now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, how many gallons a minute does the candy make? What's that? How many gallons a minute is flowing out of her? Uh, that's cool. You know what? Now it's right at the top. Yeah, that's a big stone there. It is, yeah, this is enormous. So it's not flowing, it's not flowing, it only flows. This up. section goes up. That's about 80% angle. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, Yeah, it would have been tough scrambling around in there. It would be like a monkey. That's cool. The stoles are really cool, too. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's kind of Where we ran in from over there. The hoist is down there. You saw the hoist in place. Oh, that's really cool. Keep running off that way. Got a cart right here. I wouldn't have that this way. How far are those going to go? That's all that is, is what they carved out so they can run the waste cable through there. Oh, okay. Which is 
fucking ridiculous. They could have set the hoist in a cutout on yeah. the other side. Yeah, just fucking crushed yeah. up here, I guess, huh? Well, no, they just they just drove this. They just so drove it. What's this? Uh, that's a, a part of a disintegrator system that they were uh, set up and they were testing their rock down below when they were here um, in the 80s. There was somebody here in the 80s. Oh, okay, so this is just assay that they were. Yeah, they're just checking their rock. Okay. There's a disintegrator on the right hand side of that. Okay. It's a big metal thing. Yeah. All right, you've got a cable and everything. You're ready to go. Huh? Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> all the timbers under the water will be fine. Is that right? Yeah, they don't rot under the water. Well, ours, the problem was you had 5,912 feet of water on it. Well, like I said, if, they're, if they have, like, we set it. I think ours was the pressure. You could get shot up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. There's half a bag of drill back there, I think. So what? Half a bag of explosives. Oh, <laughs> some 70 A's of mine, somebody else left it here. It's all washed out. How far back does this tunnel go? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm looking at the end of it, but 50 feet. Oh, okay, not very far. Yeah, it'd be so cool to go back there and cut across. You could just run a fucking slusher drift down there. Yeah. Pull your muck out into the level. This has track going all the way back there. You can get your mucker up there. And pick up that muck and then take it right out to that stove and dump it down the stove because I can't bring rock out here. Yeah. So that's something I can that's do. Here. Yeah, that's a perfect way to solve that. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll have to that bit. Uh, I mean, it, it had ground support. All oh, power boxes back there. And that one just goes back yeah, there and right stops right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me <laughs> yeah, that's why I was asking you, Randy, why don't we go back the other way? Maybe we should. I'm a fucking stoner. <laughs> what kind of light are you using, Corey? Is you the LED now? Put the green and come in there. Huh? Put the Randy's on there. Oh, okay. I guess I asked the wrong person. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a bright light. Yeah, mine's okay. a pretty dark. Oh, wow, that's the... There. It's about 65. Those are the pumps they pumped it out with last time. They pumped it. Those are some, there's like $20,000 sitting right there. But because they're heavy, they're still here. That was an incredible steep angle. How many levels are down there? Uh, there's, there's the 100, the 150, and the 250. Wow. And the 250, is where the in future might be because they're driving over to get underneath this great big stove. Which, if I didn't close the level, I could show you the stove. It's called the Wisconsin stove and it's huge. Huh. But uh, they were driving to get over there and they're almost there. And the company that was here last that owns those pumps, they also were drifting on it. <laughs> they're the shit. These fucking Chicago's. No, so, watch this. That's what I think about Chicago. Well, yeah, because you're working a lot higher pressure. You knock the whole. No, Chicago's a hold it. They're just a bitch that I'm helpful. Yes. They're a bitch. And you're these, using the these Thor. These you put on with a That's a Thor, right? That's uh, called the Dixon. Dixon? Okay. Yeah. And this is a doctor. Right. So no, I, I sold all those over there. Uh, pretty impressive. Oh, that's just blocked off here. Where Randy last worked over here, right? Ah, okay. Um, Do you see all that rock over there? Yes. Yeah, that's where you were working last. That's, that's my mark. Yeah. It's over 100 ton there. You see the ladders? Yeah. Yeah? Well, I'm over here horrible. I'm a badass on this. <laughs> Fortunately, I had my 34 year old son working with me. Yeah. And he carried the Pearl up there. Yeah. But that's not even all the ladders. There's more ladders above that. They used cool, to be. I walk up to them? Yeah, you can, yeah. Come up, Justin. Yep. Right. If you decide to go up that ladder, which you also can, go up together so you don't knock rocks on each other. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's Corey going up the ladder. I'll we'll catch up to him in just a minute. Running 15% over approximately. Yeah. Okay. So we just made our way up from down there. Say hi, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then uh, we got more to go. We got more to go. Yeah. And of course, as it goes quite a ways up there, so look forward to seeing that. So we're headed up there. There you go. Corey's making his way up. And then just ahead of us here, you can see they ran back here a little ways and uh, took a bunch of material out of there as well. So this stope runs down there and then continues to there, of course and then runs up quite a ways. We may be able to see that from where we're going up above, which is up this ladder here, up there. All right, we just came from down there and have made our way up to this platform here. And it's like it goes vertical right there. It's looking pretty sketchy. Just scrambled up from there. And we'll go look over there where Corey is in a second. Here's looking straight up. That ladder's all rotted, and you can see it just gets steeper and steeper. So we decided to take a pass on that to the right. You can see uh, cleared out a bunch of material there. So Corey's making his way down where we just yeah. came up, down that way. And then, so there's a big stove over here. So. Oh wow, he wasn't kidding. This is a big stove. Man. Yeah, I think this is the one we saw on the other side, dropping down that way. The pillar down there. And uh, yeah, I see there's water running down. That's the water's on the other side. So yeah, indeed, this is that stove that was on the other side. See all the stoles right there. So it keeps running off. Uh, over in that direction, and then this up falling runs up here as well. And actually, there's water running down right there, so it obviously goes up. That looks like it goes vertical right there as well. Interesting stuff. See how thick the vein is? Yeah. This goes back about four or five hundred feet. Huh. It's totally wet though. You can get soaked. Because of that dam that you're looking at right there. Ah, uh, okay. That's a dam? Well, it's just, I shot that rock and made a dam. Huh. I'm terrible for the mornings. Huh. <laughs> uh, a bunch of stopes back there or just run straight back? Uh, it's just, they're prospecting it. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> they dug it really hard on the surface. And I don't know why, in, in all the writings about this mine, everyone says, the bullion vein, the bullion vein, the bullion vein. You need to check it out. See how it's on a relatively less than a 45 degree angle? Yeah. That's that's conducive to gold uh, deposition as well. There's a good one, isn't it? There's a good one. And then the track went out there, and that was the waste dump out there. Oh, okay. This here's a jack tank. Which you pump air to it keeps on the side. Red yeah, it's, it's a big boy. Uh, you put water in it. Oh. And then you put air to it, and you can run your water up. Oh. See, like when I was mining okay. up there, I, I had a uh, a pump on the level. I was pumping out of the winds. Right. With a diaphragm pump. Okay. Okay. But this will get you that. Thanks for pulling water you, up. Yeah. Here. If you don't have a pump and you don't have a water source like a wind, then we can down to the drizzly. And I brought water 125 feet. And you got a lot of pressure. Oh, I built a hydroelectric system. It... Oh, wow. We're going to blow that up. Because David doesn't want anybody to get hurt by oh, it. Oh, is that your cone crusher? Yeah. Yeah. That thing probably weighs five ton. But he, it was his idea. He wants to blow it up. This mill is... Pretty jonky. <laughs> it's a little weird. You know, they didn't really build it in the right spot, but because they built the tunnel where they put the tunnel, mm -hmm. they, weren't, they, weren't, they yeah. weren't thinking. 
the tunnel should have been higher so they could downhill the mill yeah. like a regular they, they downhill like mill. mill they, they wouldn't have all these fucking Gravity conveyor fast, belts. Yeah. Well, they have feet of two conveyor belts. Yeah, it's unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. So these things collapse and into itself, huh? Oh yeah, it's going away. Is this just a waste rock out this way, or? That's, that's where the waste rock yeah, goes, yeah. Going, so. Gotcha. So we got a crusher here? Yeah. yeah, it's a cone crusher. It's the final okay. crush before the mill. Okay. Takes it down to like oh, quarter okay, inch. Oh, okay, because you got small rock, you come out of the bucket kind of. Yeah. yeah, that goes through. The Grizzly has a, an eight inch jaw crusher on it. Okay. And it comes out of the Grizzly and hits on this and comes back up and goes into that. Yep. And goes into that, and that goes down into there where the ball mill is. There's been a lot of water in here because that was solid. That's two by six solid. Yeah, this this mill hasn't run since the late 1960s. Huh. And will never run again, even if it was rebuilt. It's too close to the creek. That's looking back to where we came in. We've uh, seen this upper level here. So now we're gonna go down stairs and uh, see what's down there. Well, see the grizzly is set up so to the jaw crusher. Anything that'll go through the grizzly will go through that crusher. Yeah, generally. That's how all jaw crushers are in grizzlies. Inch yep. and a half, typically like an inch and a half or smaller. So the rock drops in through there. Yeah. And, and the jaw crusher is powered by a wheel and it's like a, a chewing motion and it chews it up. A handle there. And, and it's going to drop down. Oh, okay. It's going to drop down another chute, right? Yeah, it drops down to this conveyor. Yeah. Okay. It's a conveyor belt here. Yeah. There's the conveyor belt there. And lifts it up to that cone crusher that you and saw. And the cone crusher pulverizes it. Yeah. That's the other side where the conveyor yeah. belt carries the crushed rock up to the cone crusher. See, now it goes from the jaw crusher conveyor belt now into the ball mill. Ah, oh, there's the ball mill. The the ball mill. I, I worked that. I ran that mill. Yeah. We ran that fucking mill. And that mill can run because it has the truck. Oh, this roof caved in since last time I was here. Yeah, this caved in about five years ago. Yeah. Bunch of uh, sample bags down here, I remember, right? Yeah. It comes out of the ball mill here, Justin goes across this thing here, which is called a Denver jig. And this is just simply a water suspension system. It has, has a motor and an arm that does this to the water, makes the water go like this. Oh, okay. I just and it the water. suspends the silt, and the gold falls out of it. Falls it falls down. Oh, okay. And then from here, it goes to a uh, Newton bowl, which is all this, all the sheathing. By the way, here's all asbestos. Also, all that wall ah. Is it? That's all asbestos. Yeah. Good, good to know. This is a cyanide flotation thing, which is completely illegal now. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, and that's the Withley table. If you see any gold on your down there, you're milling too fast. So, at what point, ideally, would you take the gold out from the from here? Yeah, so this, yeah. like he's saying, this means you're going too fast. You shouldn't be having gold in here unless okay. it's really fine stuff that you just have to miss that Okay, pattern. see right here? There's a, there's a missing piece, and it's actually underground, and you may have saw it. It's that bowl thing yeah. that was in by the hoist. Yeah. And it had the bowl with all the ribs in it. I, re I remember that, yeah. Okay, so the shit that comes out of the bottom of here goes to that, and the bowl spins and has a spray wand down in it. And so everything goes out and gets stuck in those cracks, and the water sprays on it and knocks out. The silt, which then goes down to the table, okay, and the gold stays, and that's where you that's where you collect the gold, right? Right down the bottom, that spot. right there. Okay, so the bottom of the bowl. Just in case you miss anything, typically. Yeah. yeah, you collect the gold there, and the rest goes over there. So you got it. Just like extra measure, kind of. Right. Thing, yeah. That thing over there, Rob, is called the Perdan pan, and that's where they worked up their high grade. Okay. They're they're big chunks of gold. Right. They throw them, put them in there, and then there's a couple of giant fucking steel balls that nobody can carry, so they're yeah. still here. <laughs> yeah. And that thing is cool, and I would love to have that. So that's like a... a that's an artifact. Small right? ball mill. Yeah, it's a ball yeah. mill. It's a high-grade mill. Wow. With really big balls. What, what, <laughs> what is that ball with? Oh, I'm going to say 100, only one 150. Here. There's one on the side, too. Look oh. on the right side. 
How far in were we about where Justin and I climbed up? That's about oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 1,300 feet. And how far does that go vertically? Uh, it goes all the way to the surface. It goes up four levels. Oh, wow. So I have to take a big That's the second model. exit. You ah. see where the ropes went up after the ladders yeah. shit out? Yeah. Okay, the, you just follow the ropes all the way up to out. And you have, you can't get out without the ropes. It's too steep. Yeah. And how far, the, where all the muck had come down, how much farther did the uh, attic keep running past that? Oh, well, uh, about 3,000 feet. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah, I almost brought my maps. Probably should have. Yeah, I know, because this whole, that whole tunnel is about 4,000 feet long. Wow. But it hits the serpentine dike out there about 200 feet, and it's just caved in. Oh, okay. And it's caved in, and one spot, it was so caved in, they, they drifted around it, because they just... Cause Didn't want to deal with it. You can't stop serpentine from yeah. going down. It's a really shitty rock. It's got a lot of talc in it, asbestos, and chrome. Mm. Closer look at the table here. There's a mill towards the gold crown that's never been cleaned. These liners are out because someone cleaned it and probably got 50 ounces out of it. That's not an interesting cruster there. It's one big ball. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little high grade mill. It's close to the